Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailtus. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the GOG. The GOG is, was the prize for the uh, Halloween event. Hope everybody who wanted it got at least the level 1. And it's about the same as it was in Battle Operation 1. It's gotten a few upgrades, just like almost everything has. But it, the, its primary gameplay is the same. It is extremely difficult to stun. Whatever just hit it that uh, hit it that hard had to be probably something that caused Heavy Stagger to actually have stunned it. It's, or, you know, Heavy Stagger as opposed to Normal Stagger, it is difficult to just stagger the thing. Uh, it, it, there's only a few ways to do it. You can stack enough damage with enough machine gun fire. You can, or you can use, for example, the, uh, uh you can use the Afrit shotgun, but it's very difficult to actually just stun the thing outright. It, it takes it takes kind of a specialized approach. Just normal bazooka shots or beam rifle, charged beam rifle shots will not do it on its own. There, I think there's a desert gym up there and that's what keeps uh, staggering me. But, you know, that stagger as opposed to, uh, you know, getting knocked to one knee, which is what that gun does to everyone else. Uh, you will notice, though, that... Uh, uh, topple from melee downswings, that still works fine. So that is that is the difficulty of the GOG, but got a couple of swings in and killed that guy. Yeah, so the, the GOG is a melee monster, and if you're, if you're, they're not prepared for you, you can get a lot of damage in. If they're prepared for you, if they have an Afrit, if they have a Desert Gym, if they have... Actually, uh, Maelstrom has reported that the Zaku F2's anti-air gun can work uh, wonders against the GOGs then you're going to have to be extra careful. You'll probably see me trying to avoid the Doug Schneider to a certain extent, because that is that is kind of a lethal thing to be fighting, because the shotgun can stun you, and the, and the lance can topple you, which is a really good recipe for a dead gog. But it can be fought, it's just you have to be extra careful and extra lucky. The, sta the standard Ifrit I actually find worse, because... It has it it has uh, type advantage, and so that you know, if free bread and butter combo of shotgun into downswing, if it's angled right, can just utterly demolish your feet in one go. So that is tomorrow. You're going to see me using some Ifrit anti gog tactics, I believe. If it's the round, I think I uh, queued up for tomorrow. That's what you're going to see. But. Let's see, that is a Dom. I think it's the Dom High Maneuver type, which has the same lance as the uh, Ifrit uh, Doug Schneid that I have to watch out for. You can see that did a fair amount of damage to my feet. The Schneid is actually worse, in my opinion. But, okay, good good uh, hit there. And I managed to get all three hits of my combo in without tripping the Desert Gym, so I may be about to die, but I, I got my licks in. I don't know that I got enough points to justify myself, but I sure tried. And let's see what happens next. But yeah, this is one... This is one where I kind of tried to embrace, you know, Maelstrom's melee philosophy of just dive in and go for it even if you get killed. You know, play... You have to play something like this aggressively because it doesn't have a lot of stun options from a great distance. It has the torpedoes. They have a long reload. There's not a lot you can do with them. The beam guns do moderate to low damage and do not, uh, do not stagger. So you really have to be aggressive. You have to get in. Or in this case, you have to back off because uh, that's the entire enemy team and there's not a lot I can do against that. So that one person is headed towards me. They got uh, blindsided by one of my allies and now it's time for me to get away because I'm already down to 5,000 hit points. This is, again, it's it's got that raid fragility. It's got better defense than a lot of them, but it's still it's still a raid. And it's just it just has a slight advantage with the, you know closing the uh, with the enemy from the from I'm gonna say middle range any further and they have time to stun you or get away any closer they'll probably melee you it's it's a tricky one to use but I I think I've done fairly well with it this round that's why I decided to show this round and I I wound up using a GOG probably well after the time everybody else in the world had uh, decided they'd seen enough of it, because it was, it was tough to get this, and pretty much anybody who saw that my GOG was pretty well prepared to fight it with, with the problem. 
was hoping I could get that before I got killed, but did not quite make it. I think that's a powered gym? This is, if that is a powered gym... Yeah, this is my level 2 GOG then, which is a 350 pointer. I only have one of the level 2 weapons on this account. I think I bought the beams. Start with the claws. The, the claws are a better choice. I'm going to get the other one as soon as I have the uh, points saved up. It should be in the... the, the GOG weapon should be in the DP shop forever, to my knowledge. So as soon as I can get the other weapon, I'm going to do that so I have the best possible setup when I do want to use this thing. Which I may want to do again. It is... You, you'll notice that most of the things they give away have, you know, fairly unique abilities. You, a lot of them, like the uh, Recon Zaku, kind of, uh, kind of essentially are novelties. But, oh, perfect. Yeah, and that's another thing that... It, it's one of those uh, raids that is very difficult to go in solo on, but used with a team, you can do some great stuff. Got him with a tackle kill. Didn't count as a counter for some reason, so I don't get my boost back. That I kind of call hacks on that. But, okay. Time to get behind a rock, because that's what you do in the desert when you uh, can't get close enough to hit somebody. I can at least throw some beams at that dom and hit the rocks instead. And... Miss the dom, miss the dom again. That's a bad angle to be trying to attack at, but hopefully I didn't stun any of my allies with the torpedoes. Let's see, bounced off of somebody's melee. That's an allied Gelgoop behind me. Enemies are about to launch support fire. I'm a slow moving target. I would be the smart one to uh, target with that. That's why I'm boosting away this way. Because you don't want to be the one who gets hit with that if you can help it. And again, that will not, you know, that will, regardless of your abilities, knock you to a knee. And once you're on, on your knees, if, you know, two or more shots uh, connect, you're dead. That's, that's pretty much how support fire works, as far as I can tell. Doing a wee tiny little bit of repairing while I'm waiting for the point to get captured. It was enough to repair the little bit of damage to my legs. One minute left, we've got an 800 point lead. I need to get back there and see what I can do to help, but I'm also, of course, the most... The most uh, viable target here, which is doubly why I need to get back with my team, because I need to help them, and I need their protection to not blow our lead in the last minute. So this is where all the action is. This is where I will be. A lot of good targets. I just have to get to them without ha uh, getting focused, and I'm going to do a little bit of hiding behind this rock with the time that's left. No ah, there's the Dom. I keep forgetting that, uh, the, that all of those Lance attacks have a pretty good vertical range and getting myself tagged by them, but see what I can do here. Torpedoes away. No luck. Beams, because I've got them. Somebody's trying to follow me, and they did manage to hit me, so it's probably the Desert Gym. But I've got enough boost that I can try to get in on them and hopefully make the kill. Didn't quite make the kill. Somebody did, but it wasn't me. Somebody got a faster hit in than I could, and that's good, because we won, so that's the important part. And yes, there is the GOG. And it is fun to use, but difficult to use. I was the most targeted a quarter of the time the enemy team was trying to shoot me. But I also got the high score at 2450. Five kills and three deaths, not a great ratio, but at least I earned some decent points. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! So, on my other account, I've actually put special colors on the GOG. I've uh, done it up in the GOG submarine type uh, colors, which is uh, basically black where the brown goes and dark blue where the, uh, where the uh, tan goes. And that's from an old, I think it's from an old uh, Kunio Okawara illustration and was also a l fairly limited... Uh, Mobile Suits in Action release. It was like the recolor of Wave 1 that came out here in the U.S. in 2001. I have it. It's a really pretty figure.